Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Well, I don't think it's so much a victory for NATO. I think it's a victory for decent broadcasting standards. Uh, the UTELSAT board uh, overwhelmingly uh, decided uh, at its recent board meeting uh, to uh, ban, as you know, the access of RTS to the, to the satellite link. Uh, this, uh, I think, is done because the other members clearly see that uh, RTS does not meet the standards of fairness, of objectivity, of responsible public broadcasting that the rest uh, stand for. And this further will make it more difficult for Milosevic to use uh, RTS as a propaganda tool. And certainly we are not going to shed any crocodile tears uh, over uh, that. It will also force him, of course, to look for uh, other uh, transmitters at home uh, to continue his, his broadcasting. And again, anything that uh, makes life more difficult for him is, is something which I believe will hasten the end of this conflict. Uh, and that uh, he expects some negotiation to take place, in fact. The demands of NATO are shared by Russia because they are now the demands of the G8. Russia has signed on to those. The five conditions now are uh, a common position, a common position of the international community. Uh, and uh, President, uh, President Milosevic, no doubt, is hearing that for the fourth time today uh, from uh, Mr. Chernomirin uh, in Belgrade. Uh, Russia is engaged in this process. Uh, that's been made clear by a number of Russian spokesmen in the last uh, few, few days. Uh, as for what Strobe Talbot said today, it was clear that we are making progress with Russia. We are still working at it. Uh, but we are not talking about negotiating with President Milosevic. Everybody understands that. There is no negotiation here. The five conditions are the five conditions. He is simply hearing from Mr. Chernomirin, like he's heard in the past from other envoys, that he has to accept those. Restricts the ability to control. The reason behind uh, cutting off electricity, of course, is um, to really cut down his capability for command and conf uh, control. We cut, uh, we we do confuse his computers, and he is um, Milosevic is referring to um, secondary um, capabilities to really get his message down to the forces in Kosovo which means it's more lengthy, it, it lasts longer, it doesn't reach uh, the persons, but we are not uh, persons on the ground.